I genuinely don't know how to start this, um, but we just bought a house. That is pretty mental. I can't really believe it. Um, I'm kind of in a state of shock. <laughs> We just had an auction and we were bidding and we've done it before and like people always outbid you and we were the highest bidder and then suddenly the guy was like three, two, one, the house goes to you guys <laughs> and then they called us being like congratulations you won we were like uh huh, uh huh. You know when it's like you plan so much to buy a house and there's so much that goes into it and then you don't actually expect to get it? <laughs> like, we've been looking for a house for two years now, maybe a bit more, and I was not expecting to get it. At all, I know that sounds really dumb, but I physically feel very shocked and a little terrified. Did we make the right decision? I feel like I overbid. I was definitely a bit trigger happy. I just, whoa, I don't even know what to say. I can't tell if I'm happy or not. Is that really weird? I don't know if I'm happy. Obviously I'm happy because I have a house, but I'm also like, oh my God, I have a house. Fuck. This is a lot. Hi <laughs> Lyra. Oh, big stretch. So this is a quick video just of the house. So you go up the stairs. Let's do the top floor first. So you go into the bathroom. There's a loo. You've got this bathroom here as well. Little view outside. Unfortunately, the previous owners have left the house in an absolute state and we have complained because it's against the contract. They've left lots of um, products. They've left a bin full of rubbish. They've left a comb with hair in it. The whole thing is pretty gross. Hi, it's me. Um, it's pretty awful, but in here you've got this room. I think we'll probably try and make all of this one or maybe one, two rooms. Then you go up here and you've got super scary loft. <laughs> um, and then you go in here and you've got one, you've got the first bedroom. Lyra is very excited about everything. Then you go through here and you have the main room. Again, they've left lots of things in here. If I zoom out, you can kind of see the size of the room. If I go over here, voila. Let's go downstairs. Okay, then in here, you've got the big main room. We've just started cleaning because it's our first day in here. Then you go through here and you've got the reception room or dining room. If you can go out into the garden through here, which is kind of collapsed, but we're gonna fix that up. Then you can come in through the kitchen <laughs> or, <laughs> or you can go through here. There's some under the stairs storage, which kind of goes round. We might make that into a uh, bathroom. Then you've got the kitchen. Through here, you've got like this little utility space. Um, it's quite a lot of mold and stuff we need to fix there. Little window out, we're probably gonna demolish all of this. Ooh. Then you've got the bathroom downstairs and then you come out and then you can go into the garden. Through here, we need to fix all of this. If we go through here, it goes around and goes all the way down there. Basically our plan is to actually demolish the, the extension here, the utility room, the bathroom, so we can have a bigger garden for the dog. Um, yeah, it's been okay. The seller has definitely left the house in not a very good, good condition, so we've gone to the solicitors. Like, there was meant to be a fridge freezer here that's not here. There's meant to be a dishwasher that's not here. The, like, cupboards are full of their stuff, like, a full thing of Tupperware, cutlery, more cutlery. Like, there's all of this stuff. There's the bin upstairs. If you open this, it's pretty disgusting. But there's actually a frying pan full of mold, which I won't show you too close up. So yeah, it's pretty gross, but we've got, we've complained, we've taken pictures. So now I just want to get start cleaning. 
and like look at all this is why they've just left all this shit but anyway so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crack on get rid of everything take what we can to charity shops if bowls which someone could use but everything else we're gonna throw in the bin because it's disgusting and like really unhygienic and i don't think even if you cleaned it it would be nice we also walked in and one of the blinds was just like had fallen and smashed a lamp which again i don't know why the lamp was there but anyway so yeah we're gonna get cleaning now um and just try and start making it nice and get painting and cleaning and making it ours get rid of the bad juju and make it our house but so far not too bad guys it is it is Wednesday afternoon and I am just running to an event um, after work it's actually a work event and it's basically for like founders and investors and things like that and I'm going um, as part of my role to like represent the company I'm very out of breath because I literally left the house so quickly and I'm wearing my trousers and I saw that I have a tiny tiny mark which apparently no one can see but I can see and it's really bugging me the event is at the London Truffle Club, which I went to ages ago. Um, and I can't really remember it, to be honest. I went on a night out a really long time ago. So I'm quite interested to see what it's like in like a, I don't know, networking event style. Anyway, I just went super simple. Black tank, white linen trousers, and my super outfits. And just a tote bag. I didn't really know what bag to wear. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna check it in anyway. Bring a book, bring a pen, bring my sunglasses. And that's it, it's 27 degrees today, continuing the week of lovely weather. So yeah, very, very, very excited. Hopefully we'll be there soon. I think I might have just missed a train, but it's like one of those things where I'll probably end up being on time because I've stressed so much about being there. Um, anyway, I'll see you when I get there. Organization, put something in the sales qualified lead for stage zero. Wow, that is mega. We are on our way to the Arctic Monkeys. Oh, I've lost my friends. I'm wearing a denim jacket, leather skirt, and pants. <laughs> I can do the tears and can't 